It is the third game of the first day of uh, Zodiac Dream League. Enter versus AJK, 1-1. One one. The final map is gonna be Last Refuge. And it's once again being Undead versus Night Elf here. We're gonna start this game in 3, 2, 1, go. Fiend build order. Very, very unusual. The last time I saw this was months ago when WFC played Fiend Build Order on a map that was like as big as the country of Germany. This is something we normally never see. I would love to hear Ant's thoughts on this. Why he chose it this time. Maybe he thinks it works against AJK's strategy. Maybe it's because of the map. Maybe he just wants to surprise him. But of course the Night of is going to scout this. And after that park the Wisp on the high ground probably. So this uh, fiend build order leads to a lot of creeping early on, right? Exactly. Night Elf is going to get level 2 and then get the boots of speed and then just annoy the shit out of you until he gets a Naga second and then he's going to annoy the shit out of you some more until he gets bears. That's how this normally goes. But perhaps AJK is going to play more passively. Maybe that's why Enter chose this, because he expects AJK to play passively. I wouldn't say that that has been the trend for the Night Elf throughout this entire game. By the way, Claws of Attack, best item you can get there. Yeah, and he's maybe, not on, maybe not on level 1, but in the end it is. He's going for the High Priest right away to get uh, the chance for Sentry Wards or the Replenishment Potion. Both Does that give him level 2? Uh, Probably, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There it is, yes, replenishment potion. So a very nice item for the harass. And on the sides of Enter, we see the first fiend, the first DK, and he didn't forget about the shop this time, get the rod, and start this creeping for him right now. Level 2 Demon Hunter with evasion, of course, trying to annoy him, harass him, as you mentioned before, with your beloved cursing words with it. <laughs> first. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. No, fuck shit. Nah, nah, nah. What's really nice uh, f uh, when you're under here is it's not as obnoxious in many ways as a Blade Master because when the Blade Master does this, he has six healing selves with him. Yeah. So he you can just trade hits, but he heals up again and again and again and again and again. But the Demon Hunter normally at some point has to run home, which gives you a lot of time. But with this replenishment Blade potion, he gets quite a bit of healing that he is uh, desperately going to need if he wants to keep up with this harassment. Yeah, he took some hits from, from the Creeping and the Fiends uh, already, but Ooh, nice, nice end snares here. Good awareness from MacGyver and <laughs> the Whisk got that uh, end snare. Oh, the Fiend, bro! Should have denied it maybe, or does he have a slow tower in base? Does not, so he should deny this Fiend. It's not gonna survive, no way. Golden Eye, here he comes! Very nice. So, the Demon Hunter lost uh, 400 HP in this one, but still no level 2 for the DK, one Fiend down. He didn't get the XP, but still, it's a big loss for Enter right now, 215 gold uh, wasted for him. So, yeah, I think the harass was kinda effective so far. So the first archers joined the harass, and finally there's level 2 for the DK, Ring of Protection for him. Um, kinda nice. Oh, offensive call being thrown to the demon hunter. He has to run uh, away right now. He used his re replenishment potion already, so I think this is it for quite some time. Yeah, he used it when he went to got the boots of speed after the fiend was killed. Ah, okay. But now he's just gonna go back, heal up with the moon wells, get the naga, and keep this up, I think at least. That's the way I think you should play this as Night Elf. Just don't give the undead any space to farm, to creep. Just keep up the pressure, because uh, the Undead's levels are normally a lot more useful than those of your own. Unless, of course, you get a Panda. That's also why I think with this strategy, Night Elves often choose the Naga, because she's a level 1 wonder, I guess. <laughs> but now he doesn't give him space, and I think this is a big mistake, because especially with these Ogre Magi camp, with the end snares and the Bloodlust, it deals a lot of damage. Yeah. You can annoy the... Uh, undead a lot, and with him getting this creep camp, he doesn't even get a level 3 or anything. So I think AJK making a big early game mistake here. Wind of mana stealing for the DK. Kinda good versus the panda, I guess, or just uh, 
get revenge for the mana burn of the Demon Hunter. Still uh, no level 3 for the Sports first hero attack. of AJK. Double Engine of Lore coming. Ultra Vision as well. No tier 3 tech so far, but it's just a matter of uh, seconds, I guess. On Ant's side, we have no tier 3 tech either. And okay, there it is. No Slaughterhouse yet, but no Lich as well. So he's kind of uh, late in tech, at least a little bit. And the thing without Naga and without Dryads, it's pretty hard to kill anything here. Oh, because focus with the on the Demon and... Hunter! Is there another coil? No, there's not. No, he's not gonna die. But yeah, Demon Hunter's out of the fight, and now he can just hunt the archers. That went pretty well for him. Got the last hit with the first oh, one. Oh, the one of mana ceiling. Oh, not enough for the coil. That would have been so sweet, so sweet man. Yeah. But 10 mana missing. They would have either forced the TP or gotten the kill. Okay, Pretty cool. I think that was intentional by Enter, keeping that one of mana stealing to ensure his ability to creep here because he knows that level 2 coil does a lot of damage to the demon hunter and without the demon hunter there's not really anything here he has to fear until dryads come out. Coil quickly, nice, before the mana burn comes in and with another one of mana stealing he will have another coil when he chooses and another archer is going to die. This will make three dead archers and it's only drunken haste man. There's no breath of fire, no mana burn. Uh, Fiend dies, another archer, however, as well. So now we have four dead archers against two dead fiends. That's probably still better for the Night Elf. And him moving his DK back, providing the aura to the fiend and blocking the way for the Night Elf. He was very well done. By the way, thanks, Kiwis Don't Fly, for resubscribing. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. So now the Lich is coming. Of course, the tech delay is due to the fact that he played uh, fiends first. By the way, do you have that uh, sub-alert shit on today? No, I never do. You don't? Why not? Because it's annoying in important games. Okay, I guess you're right. So... I think... Uh, Ante does a pretty good job in... in um, not giving AJK a lot of time. You can see that the heroes still level two, Demon Hunter still level one, Panda and Brewmaster. Uh, so he does a good job dealing with the harass, I guess. Not yeah, losing that. Mostly much. it's AJK's fault for. I think he played bad. Like he needs to uh, not let him get the mercenary camp so e uh, the shop so easy. And if he gets a panda, he should creep himself and not go hunt the fiends with a level one panda and a level two Demon Hunter against a level three Death Knight. I think it was just big mistakes by AJK, maybe not knowing this strategy, this uh, fiend build order, to the fullest uh, strength and weaknesses of that strategy. But yeah, I think Enter took kind of a gamble here, maybe anticipating that AJK would not play perfectly against this, and it paid off, I feel. Uh, term of experience for the Panda and Brewmaster, and the Potion of Invisibility once again for the Demon Hunter. We saw this on Nomad Isles already. Maybe this oh, and time. there's a statue. Now he's going to know where the under this. But yeah. he's he would have probably scoured him anyways. Yeah, he's going for the red spot, and that might result in a nice creep steal if... Uh, oh my god, if he gets the mana burn kill and the creep kill, that would be... Oh. Horrendous. Oh my god, let's, let's look at the XP of the demon under. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. So tense! He gets it! Does he get the item? No. Okay. Catgas pipe of insight. Oh my god, Catgas pipe of insight. Wow, one of the best auras for the undead, but of course... Um, he wants, he wanted that big experience boost on the Lich, and now but he wants the item is level way more important, man. It's the best item an Undead can fight ever. Like, <laughs> no, nah, nah, that's not true. The potion uh, scroll of restoration is better, but apart from that, man, this pipe is crazy. And Enter's kind of doing a good job. Like he must be clicking with his DK like crazy on those item dropping creeps because he almost uh, always immediately gets them. Mm. Also on Nomad Isles, when he was when there was an Invis Demon Hunter with the turtle, he also got it. So good job by Enter, man. Like there were pro probably some games where he, where some of his big items have been stolen. Ever since then, he's paranoid as fuck <laughs> and just and just keeps on clicking that goddamn creep. So level 4 and soon level 3, now there it is, 4, and uh, there's no Naga this time, but he still decides to kind of push, no, now he's retreating, seeing the engine of war moving, so that kind of means that there's a red creep going on with the Ogre Lord, and of course uh, 
He won't be able to contest that since he's too far away. And uh, let's see what the item does for AJK. Medallion of Courage, uh, kinda nice for the panda, I guess. But uh, not to be compared to Ketka's Pile of Insight. There's the expansion coming, immediate scout from Ente, and with two destroyers here, only two fiends, however, another one is trailing behind. Well, it's four fiends, man. Uh, four fiends, excuse me. Oh, and a bear for free. That should pretty much seal the deal here. I don't know that HAK can win this. What's the scroll of healing count looking like? No scrolls for the undead, never mind then. Oh, Panda stuck way behind, Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, nice borrow, and there's no detection, and he dispels the burn, does still, however, get the kill on the Fiend, nice micro on the destroyers to micro them away, Panda, Panda, Panda! needs to TP out, wow, and the borrow, I don't think that was intentional, I think he did like, a hotkey, tap, hotkey, yeah. tap, hotkey, and then all the Fiends borrowed, without the borrow, he would have gotten the final bear before the town portal but whatever still a good fight for enter um, killing the expansion off right away a little too late to grab the creeps or whatever or to do some more damage but still he didn't lose much 50 food versus 45 and uh, yeah some more time for him to creep his heroes not that necessary in this uh, situation of the game I guess with a level 4 and 3 hero combo um, but of course, yeah, but still, get every bit you get closer to 5-5, five, five, yeah, that's true. when you can have a lot of fun. <laughs> Especially with a pipe, man. You just run in, call Nova, run out, run in, call Nova, run out. But I'm surprised he doesn't get the Naga. I mean, you can get her late, because you only need that one level, basically. And she's so good against the Demon Hunter, yeah. but I guess he's not that worried about the Demon Hunter. Anchor of Reincarnation for the Panda, nice one. And to getting the Genshin Sea Turtle here, Perry of Fatality, he will sell this right away, I guess. I think it's pretty nice on the Lich. Town Boosts Portal his uh, X, uh, HP by about 50%. No, wait, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, less. <laughs> it's less, but still, by quite a bit. The Lich, aka the new Wisp. Ah, uh, Boro, no, too late for Boro. Yeah. Oh, and the Abomination as well. Oh, Ooh. that's a big loss, man. He loses a, a TP, a Fiend, and an Abomination. That's so much gold, man. That's like, let me, 800 gold roundabout. Yeah, but Dust would have meant so much because there's Dust on the Panda. So. Uh, Panda was a little bit behind, though. Was a was a um, grouping error. He didn't group the abomination. That's why it was so far behind. Mistakes happen, I guess. And now because of this, HAK gets this creep camp easily. Horn of Stormwind. Meh. I don't like this. Some people like it. Meh. But here all the destroyers come, and this is gonna be an easy fight with all the destros morphed. And now HAK has to go out. The horn is still lying around there. Doesn't take it home because his inventory was full, I guess. That would have paid half of the uh, new town portal. So. Good one for Enter to pick it up. Almost level 5 on the DK. He got the Scrolls of Healing, at least one. And the Anger of Reincarnation, good as well. And the Mana Potion on the DK, so pretty well equipped. On the other side for AJK, we have the Potion of Healing. And another Potion of Healing and an Ankh for the Panda. No Invu Potion, no Scroll of Healing, no Town Portal for the Night Elf. Level 5 now for the Death Knight. Oh, yeah. But. Enter doesn't want to save any time to get his mana up. He just. He's smelling blood in the water. And there's a lot of mana on the Lich. First Coiled Bear is getting staffed out. Mana burn on the DK is not going to be too useful. And he realizes it. I want to say, but didn't. <laughs> Drunk Nays by the Fire coming in for the Fiends. But somehow it's just its just huge on an army. And the Knife has nothing, including no TP. He ran out of his base without a TP again. AJK, how many fucking times are you going to do this? And this time, because of that mistake, he's going to lose everything and probably not going to get a single kill. Yeah, well, the first Fiend dies here, level 4 uh, Demon Hunter takes his um, Potion of Healing, second Fiend down, so he gets some pickups here, but continuous focus on the Demon Hunter, Yeah, but the Ankh got swapped, so he will survive for quite some time. Is there no, uh, another Breath of Fire? No, there isn't! Nova on the Demon Hunter! He dies! No! Okay. Why yeah. doesn't Why doesn't he pull the ankh? I don't know. I guess he kills everything else. 
Of course, when he kills the egg. Oh, he wants to go for the panda now. Drunken uh, Breath of Fire, the demon that night, excuse me. So low on HP, he has a mana potion and the kill on the panda if he wants. But he doesn't want to run into the path of the demon hunter. Understandable, Still he enough. gets the kill anyways with the destroyers. And now there's no more dust for the fiends. And the demon hunter, is he gonna have to use his egg? No, he's not. But if the DK runs in there now with a coil, this guy will come back from the dead. But of course, once again a nice fight for Enter, killing the heroes, killing a lot of units. 60 food still available for him, only 40 for AJK. This uh, seems to be over. And he's l double level 5 before oh, the, all yeah. the big camps are taken. Also something you don't see too often. Of course, because normally Undeads go triple hero. This game, however, he didn't feel the need to. Boots of speed, pretty nice for the Lich. Makes him a lot more evasive. And that reveal is gonna kill that one fiend here. AJK is finding some pickups here and there, which is nice, because he can still not take an actual fight, I don't think. No, definitely not. With uh, 20 foot behind, you should never do this, but it helps him on the way to Demon Hunter level 5. And maybe that will turn the game around, but Ent is still producing a lot. 67 foot now. The air bombs are coming back. And on the side of AJK, only 48 foot. No expansion on his side. So yeah, he has to rely on his heroes, I guess. If, if Enter just heals up to full, mana's up to full. Don't know how the Night is supposed to win this. Me neither. There's once again the potion of mana, the invo uh, the the scroll of healing, and yeah. I don't know how AJK wants to win this. But so I guess Ender's next move is gonna be uh, heal up everything and get mana and run into the Night of Main and try to kill him. If you don't, you TP out, or he could expand. But he's not it's gonna very expand. Very unlikely. But no town portal for him. And he should definitely get a TP. That's the only way he can lose this game. Or an invo potion, or at least something. I don't know about his gold. Well, 280. He could have bought something. And AJK is trying a sneaky expansion. I think that's the right call. Basically, the only chance he has. But it's scouted by one low HP destroyer, which has been forgotten, I think. And here comes a push into the main base. Holy shit, Koinova does a lot of damage with the panda. Of course, both skills being level 3, Moonwell support is there, but is it gonna be enough? Where's the staff? There's no staff on the Demon Hunter, he heals up even more with the Moonwells, but now almost everything is dry and empty. Fiends repositioning, double borrow, and now this choke, that's where the Night Elf does not want to fight into, between the one Moonwell and the forest to the left. He stands beside his shop, with one Moonwell still to work with. Did he pull a potion yet or something? Yeah, no, just the scroll of healing. No, it's it's, it's uh, still available. And now the moving fountain of health and fountain of mana comes into play. Such a nice timing to have Obsidian statue. And AJK is pushing out. He wants this creep jack now, and he gets it. Coil Nova on the demon hunter. The pipe of insight, by the way, also works on the Obsidian statue. Pretty nice. Yeah. Riju heals the Demon Hunter back up again. It's 54 supply against 73, however, and you can see it when you just look at those armies, not even including the heroes. AJK will have to have some sort of miracle on his side. Yeah, no upgrades on the units of AJK. 1 0 for destroyers and fiends. And I. Okay, the expansion got cancelled, by the way. And now is the time that Ente could uh, build an expo himself. Yeah. And once his main runs dry, that's when the expo is up, and then he can just do whatever he wants. Yeah, but he's not going for it yet. Maybe yeah. he wants to take the fight now once again. Is there a town portal? No, of course not. Only one healing potion, and the ank. Now we have actual 80 supply for the undead, with 1-0 upgrades. Undeads don't like to upgrade, most of them anyways. Bear is gonna get stabbed! Holy shit, that was close. 16 hit points. But yeah, AJK has to run away because, again, he has no TP. 
And he's gonna lose a bear here, and he's probably gonna lose everything else. Bears running in, but even before they reach the fiends, one dies, two die. I think they have gotten a total of two hits off. And now everything in the form of melee blocking is gone for Panda. AJK. Nova hurts pretty damn bad. Panda has to run away. Abominations blocking in front level 6. Please show me the ultimate. Yeah, that would be do so it, nice. Do it, do it. With all the bears and fiends doesn't, coming back. Doesn't want to do it though. <laughs> no, he wants the bear and he gets it with Frostmore. Oh, nice swap of the uh, of the Ankh, I guess. <clears throat> so you have come Ankh, back. Ankh survives the round. Yep. yep. Fucking lol items again and gunshots. <laughs> wow, salty. Uh, well, salty, salty. The Katka's gem of. Uh, the the Katka's pipe of insight was definitely a factor, but in the yeah. end. Uh, I, I think that's the only really amazing item he got. Yeah, me too, but in the end. Uh, I think Ant would have won this without the pipe, nevertheless. Yeah, I think so too.